Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video we will talk about what's inside Kim Jong-un's bulletproof and weapons loaded train. However, before we start our countdown, we would appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press the bell icon. So let's get started. Kim Jong-un has a private high security train nicknamed the Moving Fortress. It reportedly has 21 cars with bulletproof windows and reinforced walls and floors to protect against bombs. It is also equipped with weapons and a helicopter for escape. The family of the dictator is famously paranoid. In a society where they're pretty ruthless, they worry that people could be ruthless towards them. It's designed to protect him against his own people. But does this old-fashioned train really keep Kim secure, or is it a moving target? Few outside Pyongyang's military and elite have been aboard this secret train, which crawls at 37 miles per hour. A U.S. commuter train can easily reach 90 miles per hour, and a Japanese bullet train tops out at 200 miles per hour. Experts say the layers of armored plating make it thousands of pounds heavier and slow it down. Bruce Bennett, an expert on the region, says the train was probably made in Russia, but customized in North Korea. They're going to have personal weapons. Automatic rifles, anti-tank weapons that are handheld, air defense missiles that are handheld, shoulder-fired missiles, those kinds of things one can expect. Probably some of the roofs of the train cars come off to use mounted weapons. The train also caters to his status, with a red carpet ramp for the Supreme Leader to deboard. Images released by North Korean state media, KCNA, reveal what's inside. One carriage is outfitted with pink leather seats and appears to fit at least 20 people. Another video shows Kim working in a conference room with a laptop and computer monitor behind him. Reports suggest that the train carries at least 100 security personnel, and experts say it's because he's obsessed with his survival. Kim has even been spotted with possible body doubles, like at this missile launch in 2020. He has purged many, many senior highly elite leaders of the country. They're furious at Kim for family members, friends who Kim killed without any really good reason. So there's a fair amount of anger that could be vented against him if he allows it, and it's rumored that there have been several assassination attempts. Incidents where a more distant relative tried to shoot him in a party. Another report about an assault in one of the North Korean government buildings. But there's another reason why Kim prefers to travel by train. While he's trying to portray that he's a powerful but reasonable leader. That, uh, you know, he's not being terribly extravagant. So if he doesn't have, you know, the private 747, that a U.S. president might go around in. He goes around in a train, but in reality, Kim leads a lavish life. He apparently owns dozens of mansions and takes the train to get there. In 2020, satellite images showed it part by his private resort in Wonsan. The luxury hideout has several guest villas, a private beach, a basketball court, a shooting range, a 7 million luxury yacht, and a private railway station. Trains were also believed to be his father's preferred mode of transportation, as Kim Jong-il was rumored to have a fear of flying. A 2009 South Korean news report states that 20 train stations were built across North Korea just for his personal use. If you go to a standard North Korean rail station, they're pretty dilapidated. These uh, luxury stations are in really good shape, maintained for him, coverage so that if it rains he doesn't get wet. Three trains were part of Kim Jong-il's entourage. The first led the way, the second transported the leader, and the third carried guards and supplies. Officials would shut down power to other tracks to guarantee a clear path, and his security detail would search stations for threats and test the safety of the path. Inside, he had a flat-screen TV and a computer. According to a former Kremlin officer who traveled with Kim, the service was also lavish. The kitchen carried live lobster and other gourmet delicacies. Cases of Bordeaux and Burgundy wines were flown in from France. The train featured live singing and dancing by so-called lady conductors. In 2011, 
Kim Jong-il died of a reported heart attack aboard one of his trains, along with his embalmed body. The carriage is now on display as mausoleum in Pyongyang called the Kaesuan Palace of Sun. Recently, Kim used the train to visit Vladimir Putin in Russia. He rode it almost 300 miles from North Korea to Visak. The journey took 20 hours. The train had to change wheels at the border to fit Russian railway tracks. And this telegram video from a Russian news agency shows it being pulled by a Russian locomotive. This was Kim's first international trip since before the pandemic. In 2019, he used it for several high-profile visits to China, Russia, and even Vietnam to meet former U.S. President Donald Trump. Still, Kim is cautious about where he goes. If he ever loses control, experts say it would set off a power grab in North Korea. Probably his sister would be the most likely person who might try to exercise control. There's a whole mythology so circulated around how their family line is just this heaven-sent family line of near gods. But there are a lot of senior elites in North Korea who really don't like the Kim family. And it could well be that if he disappears, but the security services and military will eliminate the rest of his family. And someone from the elites would then potentially take over. In conclusion, our exploration into the secrets of Kim Jong-un's bulletproof and weapons-loaded train has unraveled a tapestry of intrigue and secrecy. While the exact contents remain elusive, the reinforced security measures surrounding this unique mode of transportation speak volumes about the enigmatic nature of North Korea's leadership. This investigation has provided a rare glimpse into the meticulous planning and security considerations that accompany the movements of one of the world's most mysterious figures. As we navigate the complex web of speculation and limited information, it becomes evident that the true extent of what lies inside remains a well-guarded secret. Join us in our ongoing quest for understanding as we delve into more mysteries and uncover the untold stories that shape our world. So this was our today's video. I hope you all liked this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel. And also share it with your friends and family. We will be back soon with a new video. Till then, keep supporting and take care.